It is Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, 2024. The first quarter just finished of the San Francisco 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs, 424 p.m. Pacific time. And you can see the strip as far as people is like Deadsville right now. Everyone is inside watching the game or at the game. Look, like nothing around here. But the reason I'm showing it now is because we're going to try to get a perspective after the game's over and see how that contrasts with things. I'm going to see if I just finished doing a bike riding video from Summerlin to the Las Vegas Strip. Wanted to check that off my bucket list. Now I'm trying to decide what to do. I think I'm going to try to find a way if there's a like a parking garage in the MGM Grand to park a bike. And if so... Uh, park it there and then see if the sports book is available to look at. Going to the MGM Grand. They got the game on in the lobby. Probably if you want an easier spot to see it, it's right there. First touchdown of the game. Every screen with a Super Bowl on. halftime during the Super Bowl. You can see how there's basically a ghost town on the Strip despite it being, what time is it? 5.26 p.m. Usually this is like prime, <laughs> prime traffic time for the Strip. Unless they've blocked off traffic. I don't think they have. I think it's just, uh, just the uh, fact that everyone's watching the Super Bowl indoors. See, everything during halftime, a ghost town. No one's in the Hershey store, no one cares. I will say, inside the casinos and bars, there's still people all gather around because all the TV screens are on the game or the halftime show. Even this outdoor bar out in New York, New York. You can see all the people watching for the halftime show. The chip strip may be inactive, but again, people hovering around various TVs along bars and the strip. Again, not to beat a dead horse, but this is what the Las Vegas Strip usually looks like past midnight. <laughs> and it's still only 5.36. Besides the COVID times, you'll never see it this dead at this time. This may be like a once in a... Well, maybe during, I don't know how it is during Raider games, but I don't think as many people care even about Raider games. I guess a lot of people are over here watching it. Back at the MGM Grand, the sportsbook's over here, but all the people are over here. Maybe you do actually have bigger TVs over here. I missed it. This guy <laughs> just slammed his water bottle on the ground. Chiefs fan after Mahomes threw an interception. Most of the crowd is pro 49ers. This guy in front of me is about to lose it. They just his Chiefs just got pinned at the one yard line after a punt. Same guy who threw the water bottle. Wow, third quarter, 49ers muff the punt. And the Chiefs score a touchdown on the next play, have the lead for the first time. All these 49ers fans are just stunned. Someone just spilled their drink.
kick was blocked. There's always something. game. 49ers on the verge of field goal range and a third down coming up. So the scenario is going to be third down. If the 49ers convert, they can pretty much run out the clock and can attempt a field goal. If they don't, it'll be a long field goal attempt and the Chiefs will have a chance. Here we go. Here's the pivotal third and four play. What's Shanahan going to dial up? Five yarder to begin the game. This one looks like it's 53, I think. Fans are gonna go wild if he makes it and be devastated here if he misses. I think it was like a reserve celebration. They're happy they're up, but they're nervous that Mahomes has a chance to win it now. Just like if you're a Browns fan, you know, if we kicked the field goal two minutes ago, we're not celebrating. We're thinking to ourselves, oh shoot, they have two minutes to win it against us. It's getting dicey, 48 seconds left. Chiefs are about two yards away from field goal range, but it's third and two. Green pass, they got it. All right, there were two timeouts, they just burned one of them. So they're in field goal range at least. But now they can try to go for the win. seconds left. So not looking ideal for a touchdown. The security is asking people to back up. I don't know why. Sixteen seconds left. And there's, there's Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh my. Nine seconds left. That means the Chiefs are going to get one or two attempts at the end zone. One, if, one for sure. Two if there's like a quick incompletion. But you got to be really careful if something doesn't happen like, uh, you know play that takes too much time. There is an injury right now, though. All right, 
they put it up in 10 seconds from the 11 yard line. It's going for the end zone. Incomplete. Six seconds left. They could try a quick play. <laughs> I think they're going to try another play. Just like that, same thing. Nope, they're going, they're being safe, they're not pushing it. Buckers coming on to send it to overtime. Straight through, no drama on that one. Three seconds left technically, but pretty much we're headed to overtime. Fans are cheering because McCafferty just caught a swing pass and sprinted down to like the, from the 50 to, let's see where he got to. Down to like the 26 yard line. Niners are starting to roll here, now at the 19-yard line, second and two. Oh, down to the 13. Remember, they got the ball first, so touchdown would win the game without the Chiefs getting a possession. Uh oh never mind, <laughs> holding on the offense. Well, they ended up moving the chain to second and four from the nine-yard line. And off stuff. So now a big third down coming up. Third and four. Basically a throw like his pressure was coming. So I think they're gonna kick the field goal. Unless they dare go for it. The Chiefs will have a chance to answer. I should say that I did forget there was a rule change in for the postseason. So if the 49ers would have scored a touchdown there, the Chiefs still would have had a chance to answer. I did for uh, forget about that for a second. That was done because of previous postseasons. People didn't want to see it end without the team possessing it. Uh-oh, sudden high drama. Third and one, the Chiefs did a run play and he got stuffed, stonewalled. So it was all of a sudden it's fourth and one, backed up. I mean, they have to go for it, but game's on the line out of the blue here. I think the Chiefs burned a timeout to think about this, what play they're going to run. Fourth and one. I'm going to bet Mahomes keeps it. They are in shotgun, though. Fakes it. Yeah, he still kept it. Basically an extended misdirection quarterback keeper sweep. Third and six, shy of midfield. Oh, we got the crosser. All right, Chiefs are on the verge of field goal range. Not, not a guarantee yet, but now they have the upper hand because they can Try to tie it or go for the win. Still enough time left for either. Oh, Mahomes kept it again. Oh my goodness. Third and one and he kept it straight up the middle all the way to the 12. <laughs> now the 49ers are, have to be panicking. 
because it's like the game's either definitely tied or Chiefs have a crack at winning the Super Bowl right here. There is only a minute 35 left. The time really shouldn't factor in here. Because if they're going to score a touchdown, they'll do it within a short period of time. Hand off. You know, hopefully the Chiefs are cognizant of that too. They can't just run the clock into the second overtime. Unless I'm not familiar, like, I assume the game would end at the end of first overtime unless they're allowed to possess it for their full uh, full first possession, even into a second overtime. I don't know if there's a caveat to that. A little inside screen pass. Kelsey, I don't know if he got it. Based on the way they're letting the time run down, they're making it seem like they can just coast into the second overtime. teams, fans from both teams just like seeing their reaction, the combination of celebration and devastation. Man, this is rough. Because <laughs> like I said, this is predominantly this whole weekend, 49ers fans here, and they are just dejected and walking out. Try to. I mean, we're seeing a celebration in here. I'm gonna try to head out to the Las Vegas Strip. This is the reaction inside. Yeah, let's try to go to the Las Vegas Strip. To a degree, there's a sense of uh, trepidation because I'm not sure if fans will just. I mean, of course they're pissed and but you had the, the drinking factor. Like, are you gonna see any cases of fights breaking out? There's some Chiefs fans celebrating. All right, coming outside here. It's still probably going to be relatively empty for a little bit.
Like, I don't know if fans are just all of a sudden gonna flock to the strip. It'll probably be a case where they're all celebrating right now. And a little bit later on, uh, because what time is it right now? 7.53 p.m. right now. So I bet the fans who are all celebrating or devastated will soak it in for a few, you know, watch the post-game show and then probably head back to their uh, exploring the strip and partying. All right, my bike is still here in the MGM Grand Lounge, or sorry, parking garage. What I'm gonna do is, because I judged that the strip was still dormant and I don't wanna come back, like, I don't wanna walk all the way down to Bellagio and have to like at midnight or something come back just to get the bike. I'm gonna try to ride the bike back, not film it, just quickly get it back to the hostel. It may take like 40 minutes, but I'm hoping then I can come back to the strip and then by then, people have settled out of the hotels and maybe the strip will be a little active again and it'll still give a post Super Bowl vibe judgment call we'll see so there is a benefit to me coming on Koval which is off the strip and that is the fact that the sphere is toward this direction I don't know if it's picking up on the camera but in big letters it has Super Bowl champions Kansas City Chiefs with the Lombardi trophy on it We're still too low to the ground, but a little bit closer to the sphere. So unless it's a coincidence, I think two things are in play here. The Ferris wheel appears to be lit up in red and yellow or alternating red and yellow colors, which would be for the Chiefs. And of course you've got the sphere. Hoping that shows up on my camera. The preview screen, it doesn't. Here's a pretty good shot of it. So right when I got up to the sphere, literally as I pulled up, they changed from the Super Bowl champions thing to a different graphic. I'm not sure if that's just a intercut advertisement or if they're gonna go back to it. I guess since we're here, we might as well look at the sphere for a bit. Looks like it's Spongebob. Oh, here we go. Maybe we're getting back to football here. No such luck with football. <laughs> Can't believe the entire walk to get up here, it was showing cheese and I'm not kidding, literally the second that I stepped here, it switched.
like some other guy is live streaming right there. Alright, I think I'm going to get ready to continue biking again. Unfortunately, this would have been, oh, so perfect to see the Super Bowl champions thing from here. I was holding out hope they would bring it back, but I've already sat here for like 15 minutes to seeing commercials. I'll give it one more chance. Every time they do the Super Bowl thing like this, they just flash to an advertisement then. Come on, Chiefs. Nope, another advertisement of something. Still really cool though to see the sphere, don't get me wrong. Figure as soon as they go away from it, they put the big helmets for both teams on. Oh, I didn't realize the stratosphere could have a projection on it, but they're also congr congratulating the Kansas City Chiefs. So, after a long day of bike riding, I mean, I was bike riding for <laughs> while there. I'm back at my hostel just relaxing. They had a Super Bowl party here for guests earlier, but obviously I was out and about. Uh, I ended up heating up my cheese lasagna that I got back at Summerlin earlier. But the vibe I was getting, like the little bit I was riding back from the strip, I think 49ers fans were just so dejected, and they were most of the people here. That it kind of was like Deadsville, like the Chiefs fans aren't out there really being too rowdy. It was like very uneventful uh, for the Las Vegas area, which makes sense because when the Kansas City goes back to their own city, that's when you're going to see the big party happening. And we were looking, I was looking at some live streams that other people were doing, and it just seemed not that big of an atmosphere. So I think I might not go there. Uh, in the interest, like, I don't want to take the bus all the way there for, like, 40 minute ride and be like, oh, there's nothing here worth showing. Some bonus footage down Fremont Street.
Super Bowl 58 sign on Fremont Street. We also have the light show showing the Super Bowl champions. 